here we got our demo arm, uh, a little demo arm presentation that kind of shows the functionality of all, most of our other arms here inside the shop. So I'll go ahead and show you kind of the, what the main rotation here first. This is actually what goes into the ground that we'd be going into a basic install at one of your facilities or someone's facility. So this is actually the main, what we call the main rotation. And coming off of here, we have an air regulator that supplies the whole system with 80 to 100 uh, psi, which is technically pretty, or typically pretty standard within uh, each shop. So that goes ahead and supplies all the air, the rest of the plumbing for the rest of the arm. Then we'll come out here to what we, which this is actually carbon fiber. It's just more lightweight, easier to travel with, easier to show the operators how we use it. So it comes out here to what we call the articulation joint. Out here we have a parking brake, which you can flip on and off from a toggle down here, which really just holds it in place when you're not using it or when you are, just kind of put it out of the way for storage purposes. But if you come down here, we actually have one of our air cylinders here that supplies the up and down movement of the arm. So easy to do, you can do it with one hand, two fingers go up and down, which can be, which can be, uh, which that can be altered go in over here to uh, what we call regulators on the side. That can be adjusted to kind of your likeness. Uh, but that is pretty much the actual functionality of the of the arm itself. And if you want to come down here and actually show, that's what Toggles I was talking about. So the far inside one's the parking brake, but you flip that off. You can go ahead, move the arm kind of as you want. Go ahead and flip it around. So once you, let's just say you want to keep it here for the night, go ahead and flip that on. The arm will stay where it's at. Then another one down here is called the discrete brake, which is actually here for the tool. So you can go ahead and rotate it as you need. Then go and flip that on, and you'll go ahead and have the tool stay where it's at.